Hey guys, you're surely Kevin Grace reporting to you from Woodlawn Cemetery. I'm here to pay my respects to probably one of the best tat dancers to ever do it. He and his brother, Fayad, uh, Fayad um, were known as the Nicholas brother. I am here to pay my respects to Harold Nicholas. Now, Harold was born in uh, March of 1921, and he passed away in July of 2000. At the age of about 19, uh, about the age of 79 years old, from heart failure. Um, if you ever saw some of the footage of them dancing, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Matter of fact, even the great Fred Astaire, who they idolized, said their performance in Stormy Weather is probably the best performance he ever saw. Um, Gene Kelly in 1948 performed in a movie with them called The Pirates, and that broke the color barrier of them tap dancing together. Now they got their start at the Cotton Club in New York. Now Fayard, the older brother, was 16 and uh, Harold was nine years old. And uh, man, they uh, performed in uh, about seven, about 50 uh, movies. Um, some with UB Blake in it, different musical, um, musical movies and uh, just unbelievable. One time, this gentleman was married to the beautiful actress Dorothy Dandridge. If you ever saw the movie, um, HBO movie of uh, Haley Berry portraying her, they talk about some of the stress that they had in their movie in, um, in their life. They had a daughter that um, had some type of brain damage that she couldn't speak or recognize them. Uh, her name was um, uh, Harolyn Susan, and as a matter of fact, she wound up dying in about 2000. Three, and um, he wanted her to be part, uh, part of this, the ward of the state, and, and um, Dorothy didn't. So that led to a lot of stress. He wanted to move to France, and he did want to move to France, and he lived over there for a while. And, uh, he came back to America and a couple of other different movies, such as uh, a movie called Tap. But where his headstone is, uh, where his body is, well, I can't say body, he was cremated. Um, there is no headstone here, but I'm going to look into getting him a headstone. He would not be the first person that I bought a headstone for with my own money, but I'll talk to the people at the office, and this man is definitely too famous and too important not to have be recognized. He's uh, buried not far from the great Lionel, uh, the, well, Lionel Hampton and also uh, Miles Davis are right down the road. This is the Alpine Hill um, section of the cemetery. And he's buried over here. I'll put this stick here to show you where he's buried at. I talked to um, one of the groundkeepers, and he showed me exactly where um, his remains would be. Like I said, he was cremated, and he's in this section. But uh, he's next to a person named Max and Lucy Wilkes. And um, the other person over here is uh, Louis China. So he's in between those people, but I'll look into seeing about getting something here. At least there should be some type of temporary stone, but this gentleman is definitely too important not to be recognized for the stuff that he did. But uh, if you like this video, please subscribe at the bottom and uh, feel free to leave any comments. But um, hopefully I'll do another vlog in the near future showing you that uh, we got him a, a headstone that at least he should be recognized. I don't know if he didn't have any money or his, or his family or, or whatever, but he definitely needs to be recognized. Thank you for watching.